You're watching EAC News. Thank you for joining us. Ministry of Information spokesperson Mia Sopon told EAC News that the royal government's decision to block four news websites is because they spread false information and fabricated stories that confuse the public and affect the honor and prestige of the royal government of Cambodia. EAC News reporter Anthony Ellis has more. Following the public request letter released by the telecommunication regulator of Cambodia, the government has blocked Radio Few Asia, Khmer and in English, including their website, Twitter, Instagram and YouTube accounts, the social media websites of Cambodian Daily and Kamortala, the data record sector of Cambodian Centre for Independent Media, CCIM, were also made unavailable for the Cambodian public. Independent news website, without fear or favour.kh, was also blocked. A letter from the telecommunications regulator of Cambodia stated, the action will be taken to block the domains of media units that publish misleading information that affects the honour and prestige of the royal government. The websites do not meet the conditions for doing businesses in the Ministry of Information. Mayor Sapon confirmed that the government ordered the online news sites to be blocked in Cambodia because they spread false information and fabricated allegations against the government without clear sources. He said that the media outlets do not respect the law and are unethical and unprofessional. He added, Radio Free Asia and the Cambodian Daily are news sources that constantly publish unbalanced, exaggerated and misleading information. They misled the public by using inappropriate words to insult the royal government and the Cambodian leadership at will. They cannot be used for valid sources for people to make everyday decisions. People should not follow the information from these newspapers. Ms. Sopon pointed out the decision to shut down the CCIMs, Kamonotara, and public database aimed to providing information on things like land disputes and government documents and made because the entity did not fulfill its obligations in accordance with legal procedures and legal norms as the news agency to be recognised as legitimate. He added that the Kamonotara also publishes information to confuses the public. Anthony Ellis, EAC News.